What's up everyone? I am Andrew and in this tutorial I am going to show you how you can very easily customize WooCommerce pages like product pages and categories using Elementor. So in this tutorial we are going to use Co-Designer plugin. It's formerly known as WooLementor. So uh, it's a WooLementor but they have changed their name to into Co-Designer. So here I have a basic uh, a store and I have a bunch of products and I'm using the Neve theme and really nothing special here and we are going to activate and install and activate this co-designer plugin and see how it allows us to change our layout. Uh, now of course you do need to have WooCommerce and Elementor for this plugin to work so it's a plugin that allows you to edit a WooCommerce or actually create WooCommerce structures using Elementor. So uh, here I'm just going to bring my plugins and add new and we can just search for co-designer it's installed so we can just activate it Okay, this is the dashboard for co-designer and as you can see we have a bunch of elements and we are using the free version of course. In the pro version you get more elements so for example this shop smart layout or shop minimal these are only available in the pro version but we can just filter it to free version and then you can see that we have lots of elements here for in the free version and that's super cool. Now to use them we have to just enable them so for example if I just enable shop classic and save setting I can just of course uh, see the information here on their website so here is basic, a basic demo here but when I just activate an element here I can just use element use it in the element tour so of course we have to create a new page so with this uh, plugin you have to create new pages for your shop or your for your uh, cart or checkout so you have to replace uh, the pages so here I'm just going to add a new one and just call it shop-new so of course you would just call it shop but I'm just going to call it shop-new so that we can just compare it to the ordinary uh, WooCommerce shop page so here I can just publish it and edit it with Elementor Now here in the Elementor, I can just close off these add-ons and you can see that we have co-designer-shop, so this is for the shop uh, elements and we have this shop classic, so we can just use it like an ordinary Elementor element. So for example, I can just put it here and basically I have uh, the list of my products and a fully functional pagination. So it's not working here on Elementor, but if I just update it and just uh, bring uh, my page, so here I have shop new. You can see that I have my products and my pagination. So it's actually a different shop page. So I have my ordinary shop page and it's staying untouched. So it's uh, not changing anything of WooCommerce. I still have my shop page but I also have this shop new and I can just replace it in my menu so in a, in a real life scenario you can just replace your shop page with this shop new page and uh, the benefits are that we can just edit it using Elementor first of all we can add anything we want uh, around this element because we are already inside Elementor so for example if you just want to have a banner here you can just do it so for example I can just create a new section here and put a heading here, for example, by awesome products. And I can just do ordinary elementary stuff here, for example, make it full width if I want to. And I can just, for example, give it a background image. So I can just select the whole section 
bring a style and background and give it a classic background. So we can just have it. Like this, we can just change the height. So you get the idea. So uh, on ordinary WooCommerce pages, we cannot do this unless we have Elementor Pro, which allows us to replace these um, pages. So with the ordinary Elementor, the free version of Elementor, we cannot do this. But here, we can just create a completely different uh, WooCommerce page. And then we can just put anything we want here. But this is not all you get. So although we have these things here, so let's just make the text a little more visible. So although we can put anything we want beside it, but we can also edit it with lots of options. So if we just select my shop classic, you can see that first of all, we can set the layout. So here is three column. I can just change it into four column or two column. So I have it. We have the content alignment here and we have product source. So oh, this is showing all of my products, but you can create custom pages, for example, only show your upsells or cross sells. So here I don't have any uh, upsell or cross sell, but you can do it. So for example, you can just uh, create a page for re recently sold items or recently viewed items. So you get the idea. You can create uh, that kind of special pages and that's uh, really cool. So you can have a special campaigns and then just use it for recent products, popular products, hot products. We also do have custom query. So here, for example, we can change the order or uh, change what is being uh, used for ordering. So ID or title or price or top sellers. So for example, you can create a top seller page and have descending order. So the most uh, sold item and then the next one. So these, uh, these are the pages that you see a lot in real e-commerce uh, websites like Amazon. So you have a page, you have a campaign and it says, here is are the most, here are the most sold items in the Christmas. Here are the most so the items in the last month, so you can create all of them. You can also include or exclude the categories. So for example, you can only have clothing, so we do not get accessories, or we can just exclude the category here, for example, or here I have t-shirts. If I just exclude t-shirts, we do not get t-shirts. So we can do all of this stuff. We can include products with their ID and using comma or exclude products. So you can just say, okay, I don't want this product to be here. You can have only on sale products. You can hide out of the stack products. Again, nice for your campaigns. And you can also offset. So here, if I just offset it, you can see that we lose this product here. And that's because you maybe want to show this product in a different manner. So uh, you can um, show the first product separately. For example, have a big image, big hero image for the first product because this uh, add-on because this plugin has lots of elements. So you can have, for example, a single big product here over the top and then offset one so that you do not have any duplicate. So that's really powerful for these purposes. And uh, we have, of course, product images. So by default, nothing happens when we click on these product images, uh, different from uh, how WooCommerce is usually set up, but you can change it to zoom when someone hovers or to just bring the product page. Now it's not working here in the Elementor just have to save and see the results. So I most of the time just use unclick and bring product page, which is the default functionality. And then we have a sale ribbon. We can change the text and stack ribbon and card. So we can show or hide this card icon here. We have wishlist functionality, which is only available in the pro version. And of course, you can turn on or turn off pagination. Now, beside the content, we also have this style section that allows you to just control the styling. So we can control the card height here and the color. So we can change it here. And we also can put an image here. Let's just try one. So it's actually using it for the card. And uh, we can set border, we can set the width, gap for the rows or gap for the columns. And uh, you can control product title, price, anything, pretty much the way you control other elements or stuff. So really, you can just, for example, 
change the font size or make it bigger or make it smaller. And uh, this is a really nice thing to do. So you have lots of options. Also for pagination, you can change the left icon or the right icon or the font size or padding or margin. So you can also style this uh, pagination a little here. So this is basically what you have now in the advanced. Uh, we have the default element or options, not really having to do with this plugin. So only style and content are related to this plugin itself. So this is really nice. Now I also have this shop standard, so we can just turn it on and we have this shop curvy so, and shop slider. So let's just uh, turn all of them on and see what we get. So here in Elementor, I just have to refresh my page to get this new settings. And now if I just scroll down, you can see that we have shop standard. So I can just remove this shop classic here and close these tabs here. So we reviewed shop classic. Now we have a shop standard, which has a more kind of more modern look, but the settings are pretty much the same. So you can turn off or on pagination or stock text or change the product source or query string and you also have the basic styling so this is just a matter of preferences you pretty much have the same setting here as well so this is shop standard we also have a shop curry which mm, i don't really like but this is just the preferences and we also have shop slider for creating a slider from your products again this is a very nice feature so you can have a slider and just control the product store so if you have custom query for a slider then this is really uh, how you should use it so you don't want to display all of your products but maybe for example featured products or any kind of things you want then of course you can exclude them from your main products but you can also have them there as well so this is very nice and this is uh these are the free ones here now in the pro version we also have more so we have shop curvy oh i really do not like shop curvy we have shop accordion shop minimal shop Vix. so we have these options now here we have more options also so uh, we have VIP, okay, here we are in the pro version, of course. If you have wishlist functionality or my account advanced, so you can replace your boring uh, WooCommerce my account page. But even in the free version, we get pretty much a very cool stuff. You can also create a single products. Now, if you have Elementor Pro, you can do all of this functionality with it. And uh, here it allows us to have uh, or create this single product. So if I just bring my pages and add new, let's just call it, let's just call it single and publish and edit with Elementor. Now here, of course, I have to turn on uh, this single product add-ons. So I just turn all of them on. Now you can enable all of the elements here, but mostly you just don't need all of them and it's better to just have the ones you need. And here, if I just refresh, we can create a single product. So uh, if you have again a used Elementor Pro, it's pr very similar. So you can set your title or product stock or uh, categories or add to cart so you can just have all of them and uh, just create it uh, now honestly um, this doesn't seem to work basically out of the box so this plugin is just saying you don't need Elementor Pro to use it but here when I just create this page and update and when I just bring uh, my website and single, it doesn't work, of course, because this uh, should just work when uh, you have a template. So uh, this is not something that you can have in a standalone stand standalone page. You have to have a template, and you have it. So we actually expect that when I just bring my shop new, 
and click on one of these products it brings our custom single but it's not doing it uh, i know if you have elementor pro or oh, then you have access to templates and uh, then you can just use them there but without elementor pro i don't know any way that we can just use this functionality so not very useful for me because if i have elementor pro elementor pro itself has very cool options and i really do not need this plugin and without elementor pro i were not able to use it but anyway it's here maybe there is a way that i don't know but it doesn't seem to be very helpful now you also can import pre-made layouts so pretty much like elementor so you can just click here and we have blocks and also complete pages so for example we can import this complete single product page or complete uh, demos for your archive pages you can just change them because it just put all of the elements here you can just remove the ones you do not need so it's a pretty much a good way for learning to create something new because there are pre-made pre uh, good stuffs available and basically we have more features that you can just play with i'm not going to cover them because it's really easy to just use them you just have to turn them on here and use them on elementor and that's it everyone thanks for watching if you like this tutorial please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to our channel for more wordpress content and like always you can reach our team from the link in the description